Hey guys, Adam here from Dry Flush Toilets Australia and today we're going to be talking a little bit about what is the best mobile portable toilet for your RV or camper van or caravan or indeed even camping. Now, in front of me I have some of the many options available on the market and if you're watching this on YouTube and not on our blog, feel free to click on the link in the description below to go and see the entire blog that we have written about this. But Fundamentally, when it comes to portable toileting, there are a lot of options on the market. There are a lot of different price points and it is a very, very important decision. A lot of times people think of toilets purely in the sense of metrics, like how high is it, how wide is it, how heavy is it, how many liters does it hold and all of that sort of stuff. And of course the price, but toileting is much more than that because it fits within the context of a family holiday. And if you get it wrong, chances are your husband, wife, or one of the kids is not gonna to wanna to go camping at all because one or several of these options may be completely unsuitable for them for various reasons, not the least of which is that they are a bit of an icky experience when you start looking at mobile solutions. I encourage you to really think carefully when you're looking for a portable toilet for your camper van, RV or caravan, whatever, because you need to think about how and where you're gonna use it as well as who is going to be use it because you want to actually enjoy your holiday. So some of the options that I've got here, there's one I wish I had but I don't, is a composting toilet and I'll talk about those in a moment as well. These are sort of your cheap low end stuff that you can get from Anaconda, Bunnings, places like these. Now these are highly effective. These are what we call folding or bucket toilets. There is no chemicals in there. There's no flushing, there's no electrics, there's no nothing. It's literally a bucket that you carry uh, outside of the van or inside the van or wherever you want to create a private space. And inside is a bag, a plastic bag that sits under the lid. There's a little toilet seat there. You sit, you do your business. And when you're done, you take the plastic bag out, you wrap it and you put it in the bin. Now, obviously this is a very cheap solution. The problem with it, of course, is it's quite gross to a lot of people. They don't like the idea of doing it. But a much bigger problem is the smell. There's no way of actually capturing, eliminating the smell. You've just basically got a plastic bag which won't block the smell and you've got to find a place to dump that pretty quick. If you're off grid, you can't really take that you know, um, into your van and carry it around with you. And this one here, again, simple, cheap, effective, but very smelly, um, a bit yucky and something that a lot of people just cannot bring themselves to do but they are very affordable. These ones here are a couple of chemical toilet options. This one here is a Dometic. Uh, I think it's about $100, $150, really cheap. This one's by Thetford, a little bit more fancy. You can see the biggest thing right away is the seat height is much better on this one. This one here, if you have trouble getting down low, it might be a bit tricky for you. But just to give you a quick think about chemical toilets, chemical toilets are basically you do your business in them. In the bottom here are the chemicals, which sort of semi-treat and deodorize uh, to a degree the smell of your waste. But the big problem, of course, with chemical toilets is you have to dump these and you can't dump these in a septic system. You have to dump them at a, a, a designated dumping point, usually near caravan parks or uh, you know RVs and uh, parks and all that sort of stuff. Or you have to uh, put the waste down an actual toilet that's plumbed into sewer. Never ever put these in a septic because it will kill the bacteria that makes the septic system work. But essentially for a lot of people, if you haven't done this already, Google you know, uh, chemical toilet dumping and you'll have fun on YouTube for a while watching people almost throw up in their mouth as they empty their waste. It's really quite a horrible experience because although there's chemicals with it, it's really quite a yucky thing to do. And not only do you have to empty it, holding your head away and gloves and making sure you don't get any splash back, you have to clean it as well. And it's kind of a, a horrible job. Sometimes these are built into caravans. You pull the cassette out of the side of the caravan. It's the same deal either way. Now, the other toilet that I don't have here is a composting toilet. Now, composting toilets are quite a good uh, solution. Composting toilets work by doing your business and it separates the urine from the solids and the urine goes into a container. One of the popular ones is a nature's head, which is a really good composting toilet. And you simply do your wee in the front and your poo in the back, if you <laughs> for want of a better description. And you have to empty the urine by hand, carry it somewhere and empty it. Um, and then your poo goes into the back and into the base where you turn a handle on the side and it gets mixed with like a peat moss kind of material. Now the limitations with composting toilets are of course you have to uh, plumb them in. Like the wonderful thing about these toilets here, all of the ones here, 
You can put them anywhere in your van or caravan when you're not using them. You can pull them out when you want to use them. So they're a lot more versatile if you are camping and you want to go driving for a day, you can take your toilet with you. Whereas if you've got a composting toilet, it needs to be fixed into wherever you are using it in a tiny home or whatever, because you need a vent to the outside that needs to be fixed. And there's a fan in that vent that is extracting the smell on a constant basis out of the environment, which also means you have to have constant power to the uh, composting toilet to keep that extraction going so that the environment that it's fixed in doesn't get stunk up. The other thing, of course, is you have to maintain the peat and empty it after it's broken down. They are a very good toilet for the environment, but there is a little bit of maintenance to them, but you know, and you have to have that venting and you have to be able to have it in a fixed location rather than portable. The last toilet uh, is the one that we sell, which is called the Lavio Dry Flush Toilet. These toilets are really, really cool. You may have seen them on the internet when you push the button. This is an electric toilet with a battery in the back. So you can literally put this down at the beach. You can put it in a caravan. You can lift it out of a wet space or a shower if you want to uh, and shower and then put it back like the chemicals of these portables, which you couldn't do with the composting. So you can literally take it anywhere. The battery lasts for 300 what they call dry flushes. Now, because this is a dry flush toilet, it means you can put literally anything in it. There's no plumbing, there's no composting or anything to worry about. If you've got a compost toilet, you can only put thin toilet paper and what comes out of your body basically into the toilet. With this particular toilet, you can put food waste, you can put nappies, so you can put anything you want really in there and it's not feminine products, normal toilet paper. When you hit flush, it uses fans and vacuums to grab all that waste wrap it up really, really tightly, and there is no smell at all. And you can do 15 flushes and those airtight parcels are held in a receptacle in the base. And then when that's done, you just take the garbage bag, you throw it in the bin, but you can leave it in your van because there's no smell gets out of the Mylar bagging system, unlike these ones, where it's just gonna sit and bake and stink up the environment. This here, just literally push the button. It's all automated, all motorized. You do your business, push the button, it's gone. You never see it or smell it again for no matter what length of time. So a lot of people love the Lavio dry flush as well. So it's really important that you think about what type of toileting experience you want. Obviously the Lavio dry flush and the composting toilets, they're around a $2,000 toilet. Chemical toilets go for about $150 up to about $600 for a really high-end chemical toilet. And then you've got your bucket toilets down the other end, which are really, really cheap. So what I would encourage you to think about is what type of camper are you? What type of um, camper are the people that you're going with? And how much of an impact will it have on your camping experience when everybody loves the toileting solutions and there's no smell floating around the van because you chose the right thing for you? And perhaps portability might be something you want to think about as well. So hopefully that's helpful for you. It's got you thinking about what the best solution is for your RV or van conversion or caravan, uh, the best toilet solution. And go check out our blog. Our website is dryflush.com.au. You can learn more about this very important part of caravanning, camping, and all that good stuff outdoors. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.